uh, what other types of vaccines or anything available for this type of managing, suppose once you get it, or how you can prevent it? What do you like to say on this? Again, again cervical cancer here is a very unique uh, condition. Hmm. Uh, though we are so scared of cancer, and we don't know the cause of most cancers. I told again, here we know the cause. Hmm. We know it's an infective cause. And forget, now earlier there was pre-cancerous detection. Today we have reached a stage where we have a vaccine. Hmm. So vaccine was for infective diseases. Got Today right. we are having a cancer, we are having a vaccine for this cancer. Hmm. So HPV viruses, hmm. there are more than 200 types. Hmm. But 60 to 70 percent of these cases hmm. are caused by two HPV viruses alone, hmm. 16 and 18, hmm. 70 percent cases almost. Hmm. So scientists have developed vaccines which hmm. if given in a proper schedule, hmm. a person develops immunity hmm. and your body, your immune system is able to clear off the infection if you get the infection. Hmm. It's not that you will not get the infection, you will get the infection but your body will clear it so that you don't develop the cancers that cause these HPV causes. Hmm. So today we have vaccines for HPV hmm. and now we have more advanced vaccines where more viruses are covered hmm. and not only cervical cancer. In fact, it covers certain cancers of the genital area in men also. Mm. It covers certain cancers of the anal area, mm. cancers, oropharyngeal cancers. Today we know mm. more than 90% of oropharyngeal cancers are related to HPV. Mm. Certain can type of lung cancers, certain mm. type of skin cancers mm. and genital warts or skin warts which mm. are caused by non-oncogenic or non-cancer typing H HPV. Mm. So today we have vaccines for all of this so practically we can avoid majority of the cancers that are caused by HPV simply by undergoing this vaccination.